Hey friends, welcome to my daily update video. Just too well wherever you are in the world today. Um, I'm recording this in Belfast and in a moment I want to share some thoughts on how to abide in Christ, how to abide in God, the spiritual secret of abiding in Him. <laughs> really powerful thing, something I really love to talk about, something God showed me a few years ago through the life of Hudson Taylor that absolutely set me free and uh, I, a big smile breaks out on my face every time I talk about this subject. So uh, if you've got a Bible, <laughs> pull up a Bible coffee notepad and a pen and uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Hey, uh, before we do that, let me give five quick housekeeping things as usual. Uh, the first thing is if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button down there. We have an email newsletter we send out once a week, link below me for that. Thirdly, if you are watching this and you're not yet a Christian, if you're interested, I have a new thing. I'm setting aside time every day and I'm doing Zoom calls or phone calls with uh, people who are not Christians who are interested in becoming Christians or have questions about that. I'm not looking to do a debate, but if you've got questions and you really want to know if God's real, I'd love to set up a half hour call with you. And I'll be honest with you, my goal is to lead you to Jesus Christ. I want to win souls every day. And uh, I have a thing on my website, send me an email and I'll send you a link and we'll set up a time that works for you, wherever you're at in the world. I want to win you to Jesus, boom. Uh, number four, a big thanks to all of my friends and partners of my ministry. You know, I get to once a month uh, go on a missions trip, get to do things, and that doesn't cost my churches in New England one cent. So it's all my friends and partners of Graham Jones Ministries who send us, who pay the bills. So thank you, and please consider becoming a partner. There's a link below. I have individuals who sow into our ministry, businesses, churches, and uh, really appreciate your partnership and fellowship in the gospel. And lastly, I have a new series on uh, the presence of the Lord called In the Midst, where two more are gathered. The, the I Am is In the Midst. It's available for $20. That's 12 videos, 12 audios, and my personal teaching notes. Encourage you to download that on gjm.org. Boom. Come on, so let's talk for a few moments about um, abiding in Jesus. If you've been around my ministry for a while, you've probably heard me say this, but uh, Hudson Taylor was such an amazing man of God. He did so many things. He was a man who caught the message of faith um, in a really amazing way. I, I find it funny. Some people get around kind of faith teaching, Hagen Copeland faith teaching, and think it's this new thing. You know, that, that teaching found its roots more in the people like Wigglesworth, Kenyon, um, A.B. Simpson, A.G. Gordon. There's really this thread, especially back to John Wesley, um, of teaching about faith. And uh, Hudson Taylor got around George Muller, the German guy who was feeding 20,000 orphans a day, purely by faith. And uh, Hudson Taylor realized the power, the veracity of God's word, that when God said something, he's absolutely committed to it. And Hudson Taylor got this revelation about that completely set him free from sin, from striving, all about abiding in Jesus. And it's so vital, I believe, that we learn this. Let me read some verses here. John 14, verse 20. That's got to be probably my favorite verse in the entire Bible. It says, in that day, and that's today, in that day you'll know that I am in my Father, that you are in me, and that I am in you. He who has my commandments or my word and keeps it, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father. And I will come and manifest myself to him. Guys, I really want you to catch this simply today. The goal of Jesus coming and dying on the cross was not to forgive our sins. Shock, horror, evangelical freakery. Um, the goal of Jesus forgiving our sins was to bring us back into fellowship with the Lord. And God wants a relationship with us, which is so intimate, so glorious. He wants to literally become one with us, to abide with us. He says in John 15, I'm the vine, you're the branch. How can you separate the vine from the branch? And so often our Christian life consists of us trying to do things to please God, trying to do things to conquer sin, trying to do things to change and affect the world. And the greatest secret is really this, everything God wants to do in you and through you will flow in and through Him. 
He wants you to be like a vine attached to the branch or branch attached to the vine. Um, he wants you to learn to abide in him and have his life, his joy, his love, his victory, his peace, his fruitfulness. Uh, everything in him is in us. Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I live. Christ lives in me. And the life I live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And God is in you right now. And I believe he wants to teach the church to rest, to demur, we'd say in French, to abide in him. How do we practically do that? You know, it's really all, it's all about faith. Yeah. Hudson Taylor got that revelation by, somebody once gave him a verse that says, come on, he that believes in me will never thirst again. And Hudson Taylor realized that although I'm serving God, I'm thirsty. I'm constantly looking for something to satisfy me. And I, how do we learn to abide? We abide by believing that we're abiding. That's so simple. Many of you could have missed what I said there. We abide in Jesus by believing that we're abiding in Jesus. We abide in Jesus by ceasing from all of our labors, stopping all of the things we do, and saying, thank you, Lord, I'm in you, and you're in me. Jesus said that in that day you'll know I'm in the Father. Jesus is in the Father, we're in him, and he is in us. And we are now one with him. 1 Corinthians 6, 17 says, he that has been joined to the Lord is one spirit. And right now you are in heavenly places. You are in Christ Jesus. You don't need to get in Christ Jesus. You don't need to work work at it. You don't need to work for it. Rather, you need to work it out by faith. The disciples said to the Lord, Lord, what must we do? Well, we might work the works of God. Jesus said, this is the work of God, that you believe in him who God has sent. And we flourish in life when we rest in Jesus. Again, how do we do that? We do it by faith, by believing we're in. Number two, we do it by abiding in his word. He's not saying here that by learning a bunch of commandments and trying to do them, that's going back to the law. But by actually realizing the power, the grace of God, the power of God that we need to fulfill those commandments is actually in his word. And we literally, we've got to sit in the word of God, think about the word of God, rest in the Word of God, speak the Word of God, pray the Word of God. We should literally be like somebody walking through a forest. We should be walking through the Word of God and letting it dwell in us, thinking the thoughts of God. The life and the grace of God are in His Word. Lastly, I would say we abide in Him by sitting in His presence, by loving Him, by worshiping Him, by finding that place of rest in Him well, we're not even trying anymore. It's not about us trying to get into God's presence and banging the gates. Well, we, we stay, we rest, we abide in Him. And this is my encouragement to you today. I believe if you'll do that, you will flourish, you will blossom, you will bloom, you will bring forth fruit in your season. Boom. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate that. And uh, drop me a line and do some of this in your life today. Have a great day wherever you're at. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Bye for now.